Yo dudes, hope everyone's safe and well. I hope everyone's enjoying going back to a little bit more of a normal life uh, than what we've had to deal with the past year. Um, so things you may not have known, I set up an Instagram account. So it's basically just pictures of the van. And obviously when I do a video, I'll update that as well. Obviously the videos are few and far between at the minute, um, just with the way life is. So um, if you're interested in following us there, the name is ollie.tube. Um, but I'll put a link in the description of the video so you can find it if you're interested in just getting like photos of the van and things like that um, to look at and like and I don't know what, whatever else people do on Instagram hashtag inspo um, so in this video now the van's already been remapped I remapped the van about a month ago and because of the way I did it and it was literally just it didn't go on the rolling road or anything like that it was literally just a software update um then basically i just decided that wasn't going to be a very interesting video so rather than do that i would sort of sit on it for a month or so um and get an idea of like real world driving after it's been done um obviously i've got the before and after notice 60s recorded um or, or fingers crossed i've got them recorded i haven't checked yet but i've got those recorded so you can see the actual real time difference in into what it does um but then also i've done a couple of journeys in the van as well uh, so get a gauge of as realistic as I can be about how much diesel um, the van actually uses now. Understanding that when I'm modifying the van, you know, there is a compromise coming in. It is at the end of the day still a van that I use for work and I'm up and down the A1 um, quite often. And I also use it for mountain biking and things like that. You need it to be like a relatively normal daily driver. And... I'm taking everything like that into account when I'm doing it. So when I'm looking at the remaps, I wasn't looking for like the most power I could get. I'm not looking to go to stage two or anything like that. Um, and so essentially what I was looking for was I wanted the van to have a bit more go about it. But at the same time, I need the reliability. Um, I need it to not be flagging up engine management codes or anything like that. I need it to be um, consistent about everything that it does um, and I need to not like blow a gearbox up or anything like that so looking around obviously you can get different kinds of remaps you can get like put it on the rolling roads and someone will do like a custom map for you or alternatively you can buy straight out the box ones and so what I actually decided to do was to buy an out the box one and um, which essentially you know the I had a look around as many as I could, and the, th the one that was standing out best for me was Revo Remap. So the van was 102 PS, I think it was originally, and the Revo Remap takes up to 190. So up to approximately 190, I think it's between like 180 and 190, so around about that, that figure. Um, and what impressed me was on the website, they're telling you like what they can't do. And I think that's always a sign of, you know, a company that cares or someone who's good at what they do is because they'll not just say yes to everything you say. They'll actually be like, well, we can't do this because this is a limitation of the gearbox or we can't do this because this is a limitation of this. And I think that, you know, I like it when people do that essentially because it just means they're being honest with you. They're not just going to tick every box and say, yeah, yeah, we can do that when they can't really do it. Um, so that was one of the reasons that, that, that won me over. And they also go on and talk on the website about how much testing goes into it and how much, you know, how much work it takes to figure out before they actually release the product to the market, um, which I like as well. So, you know, that that inspires me with confidence for the reliability side of things that I'm looking for. Um, and like I said, it's been a month and I've done quite a few journeys and essentially it's it's. It, the van's running as it was before there's no there's no difference to engine management lights or anything like that there's no difference to to you know the reliability of the van or anything like that so it's just like you wouldn't you wouldn't notice that the van had had something done to it other than the fact obviously that it that it has got more power than it did originally um so it is obviously as well at the same time for a remap a huge amount of power gain um and I think that's just because of the, the the type of engines the van have, and I think it's a GTD engine in the van, basically in the in the in the one that I've got, um, and it's like a severely detuned version. So essentially, all it is doing is unlocking that. I understand that you know there's 
there's other factors to take into account as well um but the van can handle the power there's no issues one month in so let's go through and talk about the things that actually matter um other than you know good sales jargon on a website so let's talk about reliability first of all so been about a month since i've had this done um the van starts and runs every time there's no engine management lights popping up there's no other lights popping up or anything like that um it just runs essentially as a car would when it leaves the factory there's no no indication that anything's been done to it unless you get in and you press the accelerator and that's the only time you would realize that the van's not actually at the 102 horsepower that it had when it left the factory Um, acceleration is a huge difference I've got a before and after shot so I'll put them next to each other so you can compare and see the difference between the two um, but it's noticeable all throughout any kind of like driving that you would need so if you need to overtake someone quickly you know you've got the extra power there to assist you it's got the acceleration um, I haven't actually timed it I've just videoed it but it is clearly faster than it was before um, <clears throat> If you're going up a long hill on the motorway beforehand, it was fifth gear and I was foot to the floor and it wasn't going any faster. I've got the power now to be able to, you know, speed up rather than just being sat at the same speed. So <clears throat> acceleration all round is a massive improvement as well. So let's talk about fuel economy. So bear in mind when I'm talking here, I'm talking like I'm comparing it to how it was previously at the 102 brake horsepower level. Um... I can't compare it to the 75, I've never driven a 75 and whilst I have driven the 150 brake one it was literally just down the road and back so I don't really have any real world experience of what the fuel economy is like on those either. So literally just comparing it to what the van was previously <clears throat> um, to what it is now. So, And also like I'm not one of these mega geeks who sits at the pump with a calculator trying to measure everything and trying to get as far as they can out of the fuel like that's just not me like i know the rough journeys i've got i know how much my driving carries me for a tank of petrol and that's basically like as in depth as i get about it so um <clears throat> if we talk about how it was before to how it was now if you're driving spiritedly or you know giving a bit of gas you know rather than taking your time then the fuel economy is noticeably a lot worse than it was previously but you would expect that it's got the extra power it needs to get the extra power from somewhere and essentially combustion engine is made up of uh, air and fuel mix so there'll be more fuel going in there'll be more air going in and that's what provides you the extra power if you go if you talk about taking your time and you know you just like driving like you normally would you're not like giving it the beans every two seconds and you just you know take like just i don't know just driving like a normal person would then the fuel economy compared with how it was before isn't really that noticeable i would say it was slightly worse but not that noticeable um but at the same time you've got the benefit of you've got the extra power if you do need it uh so all in all i mean what i would say is i'm i'm, I'm pretty happy with the choice that i made i'm glad i did it to the van um I think I made the right choice and I think I chose the right product for me. Again, it's all about like, this is for me. So, you know, if you're doing it for yourself, you may have different needs or requirements. So that may be something different that you want to do. Um, but yeah, essentially happy for me, happy for for the van and how it drives. Um, and now moving towards the next thing I want to do. Uh, so hope I didn't bore you too much, you know, let us know what you think with the before and the after videos i think there's a massive difference um i think it feels like the power that it's that it's stating um whereas obviously some can state a power figure and not feel like that at all i think this one actually does so anyway have a good one i'll be back soon with another video um as soon as i can essentially with another video um and until then look after yourself see you in a bit bye